Hello Automators! I've got a cool series shortcut and Hazel combination here to show you how to file your work expenses. And I made one I'm going to go ahead and share. It's this expense one right here. I'm going to tap on the ellipses to expose the workflow. Now this starts with a PDF, so this uh, shortcut accepts PDFs. And, and you set that in the uh, workflow settings, this little uh, switch button in the upper right corner, and you can see accepts types. PDFs because this is going to be for taking PDFs and saving them as expenses. As soon as you get the PDF from accepting it, then we're going to set a variable to it. We're going to call that file. Then we're going to start creating the description and I'll ask you or the, the workflow will ask you what is the description of this expense so you can say, you know, whatever it is that you're buying for work. And then it gets that input and it saves it as a variable. We could use magic variables, but I'm keeping this simple. We're going to set and get variables. Then we're taking the current date and we're going to change the format to ISO 8601, which is the best because it uses dashes. And that allows you to put the date in as year dash date dash month. And we're going to set that as a variable and we'll call it date. And then we're going to go back and get the variable, which is the file that we started with this. And we're going to add the name to it. And the name is going to be the date that we just set plus the description you gave it plus the word work expense. And the reason why we have work expense is we want it to, um, be able to have an identifiable term that Hazel on the back end can use to auto file it. And I'll show you that at the end of this. And then um, next thing we do is uh, we save it to a path. I save it to shortcuts slash action. And I just have Hazel watch that folder and apply the rules. So that's a pretty simple shortcut. We get the file. We collect the description from the user. We get the date from the system. And then we go and get the file and we apply the name and save it to iCloud. It's super useful though, because when you get PDFs as email attachments or when you turn an email into a PDF, uh, it allows you to save it uh, to the folder and have Hazel say, uh, file it away as an expense. As I said in this episode of the automators, once uh, Hazel gets a hold of it, it makes a copy, it puts it into my taxes file, and it even puts it into a shared Dropbox folder that I share with my accountant so she gets to see it. So uh, it's very easy. Let me show you it in action. Okay, here's a ridiculous spam email. I'm going to pretend it's important. I'm going to go to print it. And then when it opens the print screen in Apple Mail, I'm going to reverse pinch, which turns it into a PDF. Then I can hit the sharing button. And then I'm going to tap on the expense shortcut we just created. And you see it's going to run. It's going to ask for a description. I'll call this a dumb sample. Click OK. And now it's done. So it saved it to the folder with the new name. And now Hazel on the other end on my Mac will be doing the extra work. So here's a sample rule in Hazel on the Mac. It's looking at the folder where this file just landed and we pointed it. And um, it's going to look for a file that has a name that contains the word work expense. That's what we added in the Siri shortcut. And then it's going to move that to a different folder called expenses that's shared with the accountant. It's going to sort it into a subfolder by date created. And that date created is year and month, not day. So it would be like the 2018-11 um, uh, folder as opposed to a specific day. And then it displays a notification that the thing was filed. It's kind of cool when you're sitting uh, in your office and you save an expense with this on your iPhone or iPad. And suddenly you see a notification appear on your Mac across the table. But it's even cooler when you're out at a restaurant and it's happening at home while you're out at the restaurant. So it's a pretty simple series shortcut, but it's very useful if you have a lot of expenses and you can do as many changes to this as you need. Like you can add a bunch of additional rules. Like if you wanted, you could add tags to the file on your Mac when it gets added as well. So have fun with that. I'm going to put the series shortcut in the automators download links and the show notes. So you can just download the shortcut as a starting point. If you want to learn more about Hazel, I've got a Hazel field guide for you at learn.maxparky. And thanks for listening slash watching.